Yo, what's good? So, I'm Shadow Ravenous, and this is the irony of gaming. Um, this is a game that I'm going to be playing, a new one. Um, it's been a very, very long time since I've played this game. I played this game years ago, um, as a kid, and um, man, this game used to give me nightmares it's truly a uh, one of the most phenomenal games ever um, it's a horror game and uh, yeah pretty intense I guess you could say it's like very it's like one of the classics is it's one of the it's one of the classic games that really um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's really, uh, it's really uphold, upheld. It's, uh, it's jump scares and all that stuff. Um, it's, it is a very brutal game. Very brutal. And a game that will definitely, uh, it'll definitely have you remember it for years to come. And uh, I'm gonna be playing it once more. Um, I do plan on playing the sequel to it as well, uh, The Suffering Ties That Bind. I have never played um, the second installment before. Um, even like with this first one, I've, I've played it before, but I barely remember anything on it. All I know is that <laughs> it was a crazy game very crazy and I like the lore to it and, and the the aesthetics behind it and the atmosphere with it with the creepy music and really great game um, yeah so uh, yeah we're gonna play this so we're gonna play this and um, yeah see how I guess you could say I'm taking a trip towards memory lane Let's see gameplay. I just want to check out my sensitivity. I was uh, I was testing this out further before um, earlier before just to see if you know everything is uh, everything is going smoothly. Now this was an interesting game back then because back then. Um, there wasn't really like an actual settings in in terms of like um, you know manipulating the brightness so what you would have to do literally was that you had to you had to adjust the brightness of your television in order to get the experience that that the game is suggesting so you had to actually adjust the brightness of the television which I just did just now um, of course you can't see that <laughs> but uh, yeah it's um, interesting it was, it's an interesting uh, interesting thing back then of what it was but um just uh, give me a second I'll be right back gotta get myself water
Yeah, so as you can see, the game is quite, uh, it's quite brutal, uh, quite creepy. The lore is very, f it, the lore is phenomenal. I love the lore. Uh, so, in order to maximize the effects of the, uh, the immersion, I've turned all the lights off. So, I want to, you know, I guess, go into full immersion, I guess. Now, here's a little bit of uh, uh, real lore, but um, now in real life, uh, there is a maximum security prison that uh, that this game has was uh, I guess you could say is based off of. So this game's prison uh, prison uh, area and stuff was actually built was actually created from an actual real abandoned prison uh, it's been abandoned for a long time uh, I think for decades um, I forget what location it is however I know that it is located in the uh, the bonus material uh, that's in here um, the bonus material tells you you know all the story and stuff like that about you know inside the haunted prison and this this is the one right here um, it tells you, you know, the ideas that they got in making the game of the suffering, and also too that, um, yeah, they they got the ideas from an actual abandoned prison that ex still probably exists till this day, and still is abandoned. Quite creepy stuff. So that's why, like, a game like this had such a strong impact on the, uh, I guess you could say, on the gaming industry around that time great game very good game you know get it you got some awesome lore and you have a little bit of uh you know a little bit of real life lore and stuff so it's pretty cool okay well without further ado let's uh you know let's start this and i let's do it uh you know i'm gonna set it to about yeah uh, i'll put it at medium I have no idea, like, I barely have any clue of what happened in this game. Barely remember much, but if I do, you know, I'll probably, uh, I don't know, I guess I could like, expand a little bit on the lore and stuff like that. How many times have I done this? And I still hate it. I swear, Abbott's full enough already. <laughs> At least when you escort an inmate to death row, you know he's scheduled to get what he deserves. Ernesto, you can really be a jackass, you know that? But you hear what this one did? I don't wanna know, and you know when he I- He beat his ex-wife to a bloody pulp. Killed her with his fists. Look, I said I didn't- Then he drowned one son in the tub, and threw the other out a window. Don't ask me to cry for him. Whew. Inmate, is this true? Oh, he won't say. Claims he blacked the whole thing out. <laughs> a likely story. The needle's too good for him. Filthy inmate. They should all die. Yeah, the graphics is not much to look at. But... Willie's bed isn't even cold yet. And already they brought in a new guy. It's an old game. I already killed his old lady and kids. Sick motherfucker. Be quiet, you jerry curled fool. Don't you know who that is? Why should I? That's Tork, the man himself. Word is he shaved half the Aryan Brotherhood over at Easton. So fucking what? I can understand a guy killing his old lady, but he popped his kids too. Motherfucker deserves to be strapped down and dosed. You believe what the CEOs tell you, Slick? You don't know shit about the man. I'm telling you what I heard. He's all right. 
That cocksucker's not gonna be all right for long if he's in the row with the rest of us short time. Shut your cracker ass, Goose. Man's do respect. You show him respect. How do you say who I respect, shit boy? Don't you go tell Way me! Way out of there! So me, you wanna go back on the low? I didn't think so. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Neighbor. Nice to meet you, my name is Floyd. How long you got to get turned on the table, huh? You all out of appeals? Your lawyer fuck you? I read about your trial, they got no witnesses, all circumstantial evidence. No one knows what really happened but you. But you can't remember a thing, is that right? Best not to listen to him talk. Floyd's a degenerate parasite. They should have slapped the cuffs on him coming out of his mama's At least trunk. I know Jesus is with me, man. Whatever I've done, the Reverend says Jesus has forgiven me. Will you shut the fuck up, you baby-raping, sodomizing sack of shit? I was just asking the man a question, Goose. Whoa! What the fuck uh, is this shit? It's an earthquake! What the hell is going on? The end CO, you gotta let us the out. We still humans, man. The whole we got fucking rights. place is coming down. Sweet Jesus, what the hell was that? Slick. You okay, man? Is the prison collapsing? Are we sinking into the ocean? CO! CO! What the hell's going on? Slick, what in the fuck just happened? Slick! Slick! Goose, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. And it wasn't me. If that's what you're thinking, I didn't touch that. What was that? Goose? For fuck's sake, what's going on? That was close. I thought we were done for. We gotta get out of this shit can before it collapses. Shit. There's something in here. It's in here! Help me! No! Okay, let me see if I remember how to do this. The controls, uh, I wonder, is the volume doing all right? Hold it right there, or I will cut you down. see stereo surround hmm. hold it right there or I will cut you. hold it right there. I think that's probably good right and I'll, I'll set it to the you know the uh, subtitles you know just so <clears throat> we get uh, get some idea of what they're saying. Uh, yeah, I think I think we said it like that. Maybe. Uh, all right, let's save. We're gonna save. Yeah, this was like a test save that I did. Um, I'm gonna be replacing that now because this is gonna be the actual uh, the actual playthrough on here. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, that's how you jump. Okay. Right, right. Alright, take a look at my picture. Man, we're locked over here, huh? Let's 
see what happens here. Inmate, back in your cell. Everything's under control. Brutal. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy. All right, so we got a shank. Nice. You see that? You hear the the aesthetics from here, like uh, uh what is it? Uh, the atmosphere, mute the atmospheric music around there. The dark. How low the light is. You can hear your heartbeat. And even Torque himself is like a little bit, you know, on edge. looking up like a little too slow um, see if I increase that a little bit nah, he's still he's still doing um, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's see let's see if that works if that's any better okay yeah that's yeah, that's good. guys see anything if you, if you guys did see anything uh put down in the uh uh right down in the comment section of what you think you saw if you saw something in the cameras man they got slaughtered So you, oh wait, you could open everything up here. Oh man. Look at that. Crucified him. Oh yeah, sometimes I remember like, uh, you know, back then with games like these, where they let you interact with ob objects like that. <laughs> that used to be one of the, the greatest things back then. Who is that? Missing, oh, he's missing his top. Oh, he's missing his torso. Where'd the rest of him go, though? Wait a minute. What? <laughs> it's like his. It's like his top torso just 
It's, it's like his torso is just like disintegrated or something. He's done for. Let's see if we can get some more stuff. Okay, we, we've been here already. Torque, he, he he's like really on edge right now. Is, that, is this a locker? Yeah, that's a locker. Okay, so we got flashlight batteries. But I don't think we have a flashlight yet. Oh, nice. So we got a map. Alright, let's see. <sighs> okay, so we're in the control station right now. Reason why I know this is because we, uh, you see like the red, um, little red arrow right there. That that's the indicate that we're there in the D building B level. So I guess we gotta find our way out of here. Oh look at that. See it's always it's always the little small things. That's pretty cool. Oh look at that. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Is there something in the trash can? Oh, you know what? Never mind, because it's just going to take me to the TV. My escape. Thank God I made it into the light. I think I'm safe in the light. You've got to get me out of here. No! Yeah, this game is uh really brutal and really bloody. And you can see that look at that, uh it even even the all the blood is on torque now. Anyone read me? What's going on? Is it a riot? What's the situation? This Nash up in Tire A3, I can't see what's going on. I hear sound, but when I shine the spot down there, it's like everything scampers out of the way. I what can't see you well enough. Shit, get away from me! Man, I killed it. But that thing's impossible. Like some kind of spider with swords. Goddamn inmates behind this, I know they are. Is anyone listening to me? I think maybe I'd just better stay up here where I'm... <laughs> Man, that's brutal. I wondered, um, was there anything else we could see? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Oh, I would have to unlock the door from here. 
I think I think that's what leads to the uh, to the actual uh, location that I have to go to. So before we do that, we're not gonna do that right now. Gotta love the atmosphere on that. Man, it's pretty dark. Look at that. Uh, yeah, that's where I came out of. Okay. Hear that? Guess there's nobody on the other line. Any good stuff here? Nope. I don't think you uh, know if there's any good stuff, huh? That's not. Wait, are you are you missing a leg? Huh? Soap with the blood on there. Wait a minute. A soap, pink soap with blood on it. That is really, 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 really familiar. Maybe it's like a, like an Easter egg, maybe, or a reference to something. I'm not sure. It's it, 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 it's like it's, it looks familiar though. If anybody knows, if anybody knows, uh, you know, um, if there's a, if this is like a reference to something, uh, you know, feel free to um, jot it down on the uh, in the comment section. <clears throat> oh wait, there's another locker here. We got more batteries. Hello? Key. Key, listen to me. You gotta get out of there. That island's more than just a prison. It's so much worse. It brings out the worst in everyone. Get out of there, Key. Run! Run as fast as you can! Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Can I turn the light on here? Oh, I can. Where do I go? Okay, that's locked. Anyone over in the death house read me? Hawks here, I'm in cell block T. The inmates, it, it looks like a lot of them have gone off and hung themselves. It, I, it's bloody anarchy here, and Luther's lost his sodding mind. What's the status over there? You copy? Hello? Bullets. I've got to get out of here. God 
damn. Oh, we got more batteries. What the hell was that? Oh, we got revolver ammo, but no revolver. You know what? I think <coughs> I think I'm gonna turn off the uh, the subtitles. I don't know. I think it's. I don't know. I think. I think it'll be more immersive. Maybe. I don't. Uh, I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it off for now. But um, if you guys do want me to leave it, like uh, turn it back on or whatnot, you know, just uh, for, feel free to let me know. Man, so many phones over here. See anything here or nope. Alright. Alright, I think I think uh we explored everything here. I've been here already. It's like walking into the darkness unknown. Unknown. Okay, it's nothing we got to do here. Alright, so we gotta open this up. <clears throat> Wait a minute, close that. Checkpoint, so I'm gonna make a save here. Let's try this up the door first. Of course. It would be locked. Wait a minute, this is the voltage? Oh, this must be where the generator is. Maximum security area. for a murdering scum fuck from the road or one of those monstrosities. We got a better chance to survive if we stick together. But you will do exactly what I say, or I will punch a hole in your sorry ass. Got it? Calm down, T. Fuck you. Don't let your When I've seen these die. bastards spawn, I prefer to stay in the dark. Go get a flashlight from the break room down the hall. And no funny stuff, or I will blow your head off. Comprende? 
So basically, um, one of the one of the uh, special Go find features, yourself a flashlight, and I may get us out alive. One of the special features of the game is uh, you do you you will be uh, set with um, well they they're gonna give you a set of choices in this game, and basically the choices that you make in this game will determine the ending. There are there are about three endings in this game, um, you know, good evil and neutral um now occasionally these choices the way that you know that what's important for these choices is when you come across Dad, what's going on oh okay that was unexpected <clears throat> all right torque calm down A lot of the lights were destroyed in that earthquake. You'll need a flashlight to see a damn thing. Okay, so, um, yeah, you'll be set with a, a set of choices, a number of choices. And um, uh, the way that you know that it's going to be a choice is when you uh, hear those voices that's uh, saying those things. Uh, one that's uh, of a woman's voice, and the other is... Uh, the mysterious dark voice that's telling you to obviously do the evil stuff. Um, what do I want to do so far? Uh, I don't know. What are you waiting for? Maybe a great invitation? Move it! I'll probably go with the, uh... Maybe, maybe the good ending, probably. I probably will, maybe. We'll just we'll just have to see how things go. Okay, so he said get go into the basement area, right? Downstairs, because downstairs has um the flashlight, I believe, right? Okay, so I guess I gotta go there. But uh, you see that, right? You saw how freaky those uh, those creatures were. They got their whole limbs are replaced with just blades. I can't open the door. What do I do? All right, so I probably have to go into the break room area. Got it. What's really cool too is that the creatures that you end up seeing for the first time, you get to actually see uh, this. Contained in these pages are my observations of the bizarre creatures that have appeared on Carnate Island since the cataclysm struck. The creatures emerge in a variety of ways, but many of them appear to come from within the island itself, as if the very earth of Carnate were poisonous and vile. Though I scarcely have time to keep a journal like this while trying to keep myself alive, my inquisitive nature forces me to write down what I see in the hope that I might better understand it. But how can this unspeakable horror possibly be understood? It is as if Carnet's horrific sins, both past and present, are being brought to life in a pageant of death. Slayer. I first witnessed these creatures jumping out of the ground itself. Their heads were detached from their torsos, held aloft by hideous contraptions. Their limbs have been replaced by blades of the sharpest steel. To my eyes, they appear to be a manifestation of decapitation. Yet it seems improbable anyone ever had their head chopped off an abbot. I suppose on Carnate, anything is possible. I have dubbed these monstrosities slayers so it looks like these things are called slayers very uh very weird uh, creatures used to freak me out back then <laughs> when i was younger amazing lore though especially when they explain what these monsters are 
and and what manifestations they are. I can't open it. Oh, okay. What's this? Is there another one? Oh yeah, there is. Oh, but this one's broken. Oh, this dude's all screwed up. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, now we can see better what they do to him, though. his arm what uh <laughs> okay <laughs> huh I, I, I didn't know I didn't know he could do that in this uh to these um, objects. That, what was the point of that, though? Do, like, do I pull this back? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did it move? I could have sworn it moved a little bit. No, I guess not. All right. What happens if I turn the light on? All right, you got a light. We gotta head downstairs to get out of this shithole. And you better stay out of my way. If I need to shoot more of those fuckers, I will not hold my fire on your account. You read me? Sure. Convict! Get a move on! We're as good as dead if we stay here! What in God's green earth is your fucking problem? Move it! Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... Oh! That's the last of them. You handled yourself all right for an inmate. Carnate Island's got a strange history, and Abbott is one fucked up who's gal. And let me tell you, we better stay away from the fucking basement. If things are bad up here, down there, it's gonna be like the mouth of hell. I always saw the good in you. Help me! Cable, oh, damn. stop! What the hell was that? It never I gotta stop. check it out. Stay here! Oof. So yeah, so what happens too is that if you I guess like uh whatever choice you make, um the game will then reinforce uh your decision, basically locking it in place of what you've done. So I think we got some good points from that. Oh nice. Use the directional buttons to access. Okay. Cool. All right, so we got a gun now. Are those? Yeah, they are. Shackles. Hmm. I always looked at their bodies when I was done. 
Yeah, so you're gonna um, in this game you're gonna see a lot of uh, hallucinations, um, a lot of odd shit, plenty of it. Kind of makes you think: uh, Is he hallucinating? Is he going crazy? What's going on here? Well, who knows? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, okay, I can beat this. I can uh, destroy all of that stuff. Oh. Okay. Let's not do that again. a god then why has he let me why has he let me die huh oh whoa, whoa what Wasn't there something else too that we uh, that I missed? I could I could have sworn it was broke through here. Uh, I went through here. Okay. Whoa! whoa wait! Wait! wait. Oh, oh God! It's not what I wanted to do. I hit that a second time, bruh.
Spooky, right? <laughs> Oh, you know what? I think what happens too, I think uh, when you look through here in this camera, I think you're supposed to see somebody sitting there. And then when you switch it, he then walks over to you. I could be wrong though. I want it to end! I guess there's nothing here. Man, look at all this destruction. I guess I gotta move this. Right? Whoa, what's this? Hold on. Oh, okay, there's nothing there. Lost his head and he's still moving. Bruh. These controls, they're, uh, they're a little challenging, you know, since it's a, uh, <coughs> since you're going by, like, PlayStation 2, uh, controls. The inmates are running the show now, suckers. This here's MC25 to life, and I want you to know, the 
and I am calm like a bomb. Let me tell you, I done seen more dead CEOs today than I ever dreamed I would. And I want to say, they all had it coming. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I like it. Okay, then. Oh, we got more of the... Oh, Carnate Island. Okay. Okay, so we're on the first floor. Oh, we got a locker. Oh, hold up. I forgot I had the... Uh, what's a teddy bear doing here? Oh, right. Oh, alright, now I remember. out bro I, I can't even unlock the door I don't have the keys <laughs> alright so we got uh, extra batteries that's good So this is another Don't one of the, uh, on, this is another one of the, uh, Murphy, choices I could, idea, make. I could, uh, Which one of you fuckers thought of this? Uh, maybe a new jack, but you think I was born yesterday? I'm not scared. I know this thing was decommissioned in the 80s. They will the door shut to everything. No way it can hurt me. How'd you guys get me in here anyway? Hello? Hello? Anyone hear me? I'm not gonna press that. I remember when I first played this. Um, you put these on tight. Is that part of the gang, huh? Guys, hello? I remember when I first played this, I I, I was just clicking on everything <laughs> and I accidentally I just like pressed the button and killed the whole Whew. Another one of those. Oh, Yeah, I remember I pressed one of those things before and I, I uh, accidentally killed him. <laughs> and I was like, dang, man. Shit is crazy. Um, Tack, which way, what's the right way to go? Because I, I, I want to be able to explore everything that I can. I guess if the monster is moving over there, I'm going to go here. Right? Let's see, I'll just save it right here. All right. Is this 
thing working. Oh, I think the buggery thing's gone on the blink. Hello! Ox again. Still trying to find another CO who isn't dead or gone off his nut. I've made it to the admissions building, but I don't know how I'm going to open a blasted gate. The whole mechanism's gone off the spout. If anyone can hear me, I'd advise you to look for a different way out, because it looks like I'm well and truly fucked here. <laughs> but that's what I said, it did. Who'd have thought we corrections officers would be the ones trying to escape from Abbott? Fucking hilarious, if you ask me. Huh. Interesting. This camera is going really slow. Didn't we see this before? Hmm. There's probably something behind me too. Yup, knew it. I guess you could say it was a little trap right here, huh? Dude, look at that. Oh, look at that. They, nice little feature right there. He uh, they dragging the blade across the wall. bunch of meds on me. Ah, <clears throat> oh, dude. Where's... Okay, I probably shouldn't... I should... I probably shouldn't go there right now. Okay, nothing there either.
Whew, this game is intense. I think we're close to finishing the first chapter. It's over here. Okay. They won't leave you alone until you do it. To a Oh man, Torque is getting real stressed out. Whew. Okay. Oh, we are on chapter two. I think the next uh, stage, yeah. Okay. Well, that will be it first episode and uh, we'll continue on to the next one um, yeah this is a uh, this is definitely um, a trip down memory lane this is a uh, definitely an intense game <sighs> very brutal too uh, excuse me yeah but it's a uh, yeah very brutal and all of that and um, yeah, we're going to continue on to the next episode. Um, if you enjoyed the playthrough so far, uh, feel free to leave a like. And if you dislike it, well, feel free to dislike it. Um, but uh, yeah, till next time, this was The Suffering. And uh, yeah, till next time, see you guys later.